Thank you for visiting our page. My name is Gary Stroud, sales manager here at Avalon Test Equipment. Before your video begins, I just want to give you a brief summary of the services that we offer. We guarantee 24-hour calibration on PIM, sweep, and fiber gear. Once it's in the door, it's out the door the next day. We provide certified training so your crews are properly educated. And we pride ourselves on last minute rentals and sales so you can test with confidence. And above all, customer service is our top priority. If there's any test equipment requirements that we can help be of service to, please contact us at sales at avalontest.com. Enjoy your video. Today we're going to be covering the S331E from Anritsu. Uh, this information also applies to the L&D model. Uh, just a quick reminder, Avalon uh, rents and sells these units. Uh, we also provide 24-hour turnaround on our calibrations, and we do repair these units. Uh, check out our website for more information. It's always important to press shift and system to bring up the different options uh, regarding how this unit works. You can always press status and that'll bring up a thing that says package version right there and that's your firmware. Uh, you want to make sure it's the most current. You can base this off of uh, Anrisu's website. They update this stuff a lot and there's a lot of new functionality. You want to make sure it's very current. Everything we rent is always going to have the newest firmware. Um, going back from there, we, you can also press self-test. I recommend doing this every time you power the unit up just to make sure everything's working. It checks a lot of the internal voltages. If you're having issues with the unit, start there. It's really important to make sure all of your end faces and connectors are cleaned. Um, we always clean them with cotton swabs and alcohol. Um, always make sure that, that RF output, you want to make sure your open short load is clean. And again, do this before the calibration so that your, uh, your readings are accurate. Sometimes these units have a tendency to run really slow if there's a lot of files on there. You can press shift and file and you can bring up your measurement recall. This one has nothing on it, but if there's a lot of files, you're going to have all sorts of lag. This is less prevalent in the newer models, but in the older ones, it can really slow things down. You want to delete those files and the whole system will start running a lot faster. With Enritsu, uh, you actually do a calibration every time you use this unit. So it's calibrated separately by us with a higher levels of standards, but then you also have your open short load. Um, go into the unit, uh, press shift and cal, or on the D models, it's just the calibrate button. Uh, get that started up, connect your open section, press enter. Switch over to the short. Enter. And then finally to the load. Now the unit is calibrated for the frequency range that you are going to be using. Make sure to have your frequency accurate for your tests before you do this. I calibrated directly to the unit to make sure that the unit itself is good. In the field I know you normally would calibrate with the cable attached, but let's isolate to just the unit before we do the cable. Most of the time you calibrate with the cable attached. What you can do to eliminate everything is recalibrate with just the load attached directly to the unit. If everything looks good after that, recalibrate again with the cable. Does it still look good? Then you know that the problem is not inherently in the gear. Uh, sometimes with these touchscreen units, you'll get dings or, or, or dents into the screen that uh, cause the touchscreen to malfunction. Um, the first thing to do here is to press shift and zero to bring up the touchscreen recalibration. If there's a massive issue and you simply cannot use this touch screen, you can always press the number one and that'll switch over to button mode and this will work as a temporary solution until you can get the unit into us for repair. The other thing you can do with touch screen recalibration is bring up the actual cal by pressing enter and go through and recalibrate the screen so your buttons work as they are supposed to.
Your time on site can be drastically reduced with a properly trained crew. We offer Verizon approved uh, sweep fundamental training uh, with the Enritsu gear here. If you have any questions or would like to get something like that set up, please contact our sales team or check out our website for more information. Thanks for checking out our third troubleshooting video. Uh, definitely contact our sales team for any rentals, calibrations, or training that you might need. Uh, turn, remember to turn on notifications and subscribe to our channel. Remember, with Avalon, you can always test with confidence.